Well, on the garage again. Came to work on the dart. Get some more work done on it. But I was gonna take and uh, change oil in the uh, cherry picker here because last winter it would freeze up. I couldn't use it. And well, you can see all the watery, oily mix combat combination that was in it. I done fucked up. Went to it's draining real slow. So I took took the blow gun, put it in there, make a little pressure, make it come out faster, and all over fucking blueberry, the seat. Yeah. Now I got a mess to clean up. And I gotta get that door and the T-top roof out of here. Just so maybe I can move the torches over and make a little more room in here for this winter. But, try to get something done, and I made more work for myself. I figured, since it's not always heated in here, all I got for heat is that heater hooked up to a 100-pound propane tank. And I figured to make it easier to use in the wintertime, because I'm sure Cody will need it for working on the 40 to pull the engine out, I'll have to put the engine back in the dart, hopefully this winter. So I got a quarter of this uh, plow fluid. So hopefully that will solve the issue with the uh, cherry picker not working. But yeah, now I got a big fucking mess to clean up. Just glad I didn't go all over the dirt because that would not have been good. That would have been a bitch to clean for paint. But I've got the trunk lid off, hood off. I got that hanging up so I can, the header panel so I can jam that. I did throw some paint on the tail light panel and in the trunk, but I gotta do another coat in the trunk here. But, trunk is all jammed, rear window is all jammed. All the body work is now finally done, so I just gotta get some paint probably next weekend or this payday, and I can get the body and base coat and get ready for the next stage of the paint, which will be exciting. I'm getting excited now because we are actually making progress and getting this closer to being done. So. I'll check back with an update later on, and we'll see what we're at. Yeah. Apparently I fucked up worse than I thought. Apparently, when you put pressure here to get the oil out of there, you blow out the seal. Because I got almost a full quart of oil in it, and it still does absolutely nothing. But, I got the door and the roof out of here, put them in the shed, and while I was in the shed, I remembered I happened to have a spare ram from an old lift. So, hopefully that one will still work. And if it does, we'll be back in business. And then, figure out where the hell I'm going to store this damn cherry picker. Because I don't want it outside all, all winter. If we need to use it, it'll be a pain in the ass to bring it back in. And if it's in the garage, it's going to be kind of in the way but what I'm thinking is if I turn it sideways and put it where the uh, door and roof was it might be out of the way and I can take and stick the dirt seats on top of it for now and the batteries underneath it or something just get it help get it out of the way and then get the dirt moved over and get the 40 pushed in here and Cody can start tearing into that. So, keep you updated. Yes, that was my band-aid flopping around. So, keep you updated and we'll go from there. We got it fixed. Good thing I don't throw nothing away. Because this will be coming in handy this winter. Get the damn thing to go down. Come on. 
well, whatever. But that's fixed. I got the mess somewhat cleaned up. Made a little bit more room. Got the torches shoved in the corner, the tranny, the engine, the sunroof. That is another thing. There is four sunroof drains on this thing, one in each corner. And the front ones, I tried to run down the A pillars, but naturally, I drilled a, I don't know if you can see that, I drilled a hole right here to run the hose down and run it through the A pillar. But there's another plate on the inside that comes up this way. So if I run the hose up from the bottom here through here, it would come up and come out this hole, which ain't gonna work. So, try going down here, even tried running some mechanical wire down there, wasn't going. So, I got to thinking, I don't even need the front center of drains. So I capped them off, and I figured if, it, if I'm ever caught in the rain with it, which I'll be driving, so I might, but I'll just, if it's heavy rain, I'll just lock up the front. I'll just lock up the front so that all the water will drain in the back, and we'll be good. So I got the, got the rear ones ran, and then I made, uh, you can't see shit. Got a light. So I put a little brass fitting in there. All I could get was like a barbed one here, so I just cut the barbs off, and the water will just run out there. It'll work. Ain't, ain't, as, uh, ain't like the factory, but I don't care because the uh, sunroof is out of a 02 Ford Escort or something like that. So I ain't worried about it. But to get a second layer of paint down on the trunk floor. And then I got the leaf spring hangers painted. License plate light bracket, the header panel. I wasn't gonna paint the whole header panel, but it's such a small piece, I figured, what the hell went out? I was just gonna jam it, but whatever. Got the front fenders jammed out. So, tin foil trick works great. But now the plan is, this week, I'll let the paint cure. I can throw the trunk lid back on, throw the front fenders back on, maybe set the hood on it, and then get the header panel on, and hopefully, fingers crossed, next weekend I can get the rest of the car in base coat. I just gotta go through, do a final, final block sand on it, and should be ready for paint. And yeah, the roof is taped off. It is painted. I ain't revealing that yet. So you have to wait and see on that one. Only a few, select few people have seen that. But I am getting excited because once it's in base coat, I gotta get some clear and then I start putting it back together. Hopefully. Cause I really want to, well I gotta get some stainless hard line. Cause I got the, the pumps will be sitting back here above the rear axle. I got the bulkhead fittings through the floor and there'll be hard line, stainless steel hard lines going from the bulkhead fittings to the pumps. Which I already got a couple of them made up. But I got a whole roll of tubing. I got to find more uh, nuts and ferrules for the stainless. And then I can get all those in, get them plumbed up, wired up, get the battery racks back in, and start getting it assembled. I still got to clean paint the rear axle. But I could throw front suspension back in it. Because that's already go back in. I just got to get another pair of uh, 
front selling this for it since I bought two pairs for it and had to steal them for other cars. Whatever. But, it's getting there. Our plan is to have it done by end of March. So, I'm not done done, but done enough to where I can show it, maybe possibly drive it. So I gotta get cracking. That'll be it for this episode. Hit the like and subscribe button. And let me know what you think. Drop, drop a, let me know in the comments. Drop them in the comments.